In today's video, we will be discussing our Akinet range of fiber optic cables and components, and we will briefly discuss some use cases within a PON infrastructure, but most of these items can also be utilized in an active fiber network. Akinet offers a variety of fiber optic cables and accessories and are constantly expanding their range as the demand for fiber optic products and accessories grows. We'll start off with the usual hardware requirements for last mile fiber connectivity, or in other words, connecting a client to a backbone fiber network. First of all, one would normally require some sort of optical device at the client side, which will do the conversion from fiber optic to copper for internet connectivity. For this example, we will use an Akinet ONU. From this ONU, we'll need a fiber optic patch cable, also known as a patch lead. This will serve as the interface between your ONU and the termination box, where it plugs into a mid coupler located inside of the termination box. Akinet offers both a one and a two port fiber termination box. These offer mechanical protection and manages the fiber cable in an organized manner inside of the end user's home. These units are built from high quality ABS material, are desktop or wall mountable, and can accommodate an ST simplex or LC duplex mid coupler. Inside of the termination box, the fiber drop cable will normally get spliced onto what is called a fiber pigtail. These pigtails can either be LC or AC with either an APC or UPC polishing at the end. Currently, Akinet offers these with an LSZH jacket and it uses G652D rated fiber. Mid couplers are then used to terminate one or more fiber optic cables inside of the termination box to neaten and organize installations. These couplers are constructed of high grade plastic and engineered for durability and long service life. They are available in both duplex LC and simplex SC connectors with either UPC or APC polishing types. Then lastly, for the end user installation, a patch lead or a patch cable is used between the ONU and the termination box to transmit a signal which is plugged into the mid coupler on the termination box. These units also come in various connector and polishing types. The more popular ones used in a passive optical FTTX networks are SC, UPC, due to most manufacturers own use featuring an SC UPC interface. On the outside of your home or apartment, you will typically find some sort of enclosure where the backbone fiber will either be split, terminated, or housed. These housings typically cater for what is called a passive optical splitter, which is very commonly utilized in PON network infrastructure. This is normally added somewhere in the FNO's upstream network, which will split one fiber cable into multiple cables, which goes down different streets or runs to different blocks of buildings. At Miro, we currently offer five different splitter varieties from Akinet, starting at a 1 to 2 split and going all the way up to a 1 to 32 splitter. These splitters come pre-terminated with a SCUPC connector on each end and are usually housed inside of a distribution or splitter box. Currently, we offer these in both 4 and 8 port varieties, suitable for either indoor or outdoor use. These units are built from high quality PC and ABS materials and offer IP65 rating. As mentioned, these are widely used as termination points for your backbone fiber, especially when laying underground fiber. With aerial fiber on the other hand, one would typically employ what is called a dome joint or splice enclosure. These are used to protect your aerial connection and facilitate fiber distribution between various optic cables. Mirror offers various sizes, from 24, 48, and 72 cores upwards. They come with an IP68 rating and are built from polypropylene and ABS materials, which gives them an expected lifespan of over 25 years. Then of course you would need fiber optic cable to connect all of these various components together. Miro currently offers fiber optic drop cable. This type of cable is normally used as last mile from outside homes or poles for aerial applications to inside your home and terminate into the termination boxes. But the use cases for this type of cable doesn't end with just last mile connections. It can also be used as backbone cable when doing shorter runs or doing rollouts in a gated complex or an estate for an example. Miro also offers pre-terminated links ranging from 30 to 150 meters with either LC or SC connectors terminated on both ends. These can be used to connect different floors or buildings, or even to connect homes easily if no splice machine is available. Then lastly, at the fiber network operator's point of presence or office, the fiber will then be terminated into what is called a fiber patch panel or distribution panel. 
These panels make it easy to change, route, and test fiber optic connections quickly and neatly. We currently offer both 24 and 48 board sliding draw panels with either two LC, SC, or ST connections. For more information on our Aconet range of fiber installation components and accessories, please visit our website at the first link in the description or give us a call and get in touch with our sales team. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in our next video.